Dude, pare, what's up? How you guys doing? My name is Ronnie. Welcome to my new. I know we're five months early, but on today's video, we'll be unboxing a Christmas-themed sneaker. Who says you can't have Christmas in July? Let's do this, shall we? anticipated sneaker releases during the holiday of 2020 is the Kobe 6 Pro Tro The Grinch. The nickname of The Grinch originated among the sneaker blogs and forums for its resemblance to the infamous Dr. Seuss character who tried to ruin the holidays by stealing Christmas. However, Nike has officially dubbed these the Green Mamba. As the colorway is taken directly from the animal of the same name, the Green Mamba has the same two-toned green scales with sharp black eyes. Despite the official Green Mamba inspiration, these are universally referred to as the Grinch even by Nike's in-house designers themselves. So here we have it, still sealed in a shipping box. I bought this off Titan22 when they made it available for the first come first serve at their online web store. Again, shout out to Titan22 for the opportunity to purchase another Grail sneaker. Alright, let's proceed to unboxing this baby. And here we have the shipping details from the invoice containing my address, the description, and the quantity as well as the price. At retail, this was priced at $8,795 or around $180 US. Yep, still have for the love of the game and the Titan uh, mascot. So it comes in the regular Kobe sneaker box, a plain satin black box, and on top is the Kobe's logo and signature in gloss black. And on the sides of the lid are the Nike Swoosh's logo, also in gloss black. And on one side of the box, it shows the sneaker's details like the name and colorway and size. And here we have the Kobe 6 Pro Tro in green, apple, vault, crimson, and black. And here's a sneaker trivia for you for those who are not familiar with the color vault. It is a signature electric green-yellow variant and is a variety name that is used in several athletic products by Nike. And for the size, we have the size 6 men's or 7.5 for women's. Yes, you heard it right. It's in size 6 and it's not an error. Unfortunately, this isn't my size. With the hype that this sneaker release got, especially when we lost Kobe in the same year last year, a lot of people wanted to purchase it and somehow caused technical issues with the Titan 22 website. Specifically, when I was about to check out a size 12, the website timed out and it crashed and, you know, and when it went back up, size 12 was already sold out. So I got the next available size, which is a size 6. It's actually a half size down of my actual shoe size from 12. So I was actually planning on swapping these, uh, but it seems like more and more people are scooping them up to play ball in them as the resale price for the bigger sizes are actually $300 more than this size 6. Now that Nike and Kobe Estate has announced their divorce, it might be more difficult to cop as well. As you know, Kobe's contract with Nike has expired and was not renewed, so expect resale prices to go nowhere but up. But be it as it may, I'm glad I have copped these and added to my collection. Alright, let's continue. So we pop open the box, and we have here is a plain tissue paper. Put that aside to reveal. Here we go. Bam! Kobe Proto 6 is based on a favorite colorway originally released on Christmas Day of 2010. It features a scaly reptile inspired upper with the lime green coloring, a playful recalling of Kobe's Black Mamba persona, while the touch of red was added by Nike to tie into the Christmas theme. 
The materials used for the upper is a green colored textile, which is fascinating to note that the gradient color finish from being an apple green on the lower side goes to lighter, to vault or neon on the center. On top of the materials is a 3D glossy plastic or rubbery bumps made from polyurethane, which was originally called islands when the shoe first released. They form a protective layer that prevents the textile materials underneath from getting damaged due to the nicks and scuffs from all the action that the shoe might be exposed to when playing basketball. Aesthetically, they do form together to look like a snake skin texture that ties up to Kobe's nickname, the Black Mamba. Color blacks are the Nike swooshes logos on both the medial and the lateral side. Alright, the sneaker comes pre-laced with the neon vault laces, but if you want to complete the Christmas theme, it does come with extra bright crimson red laces that you can swap out. Underneath the laces is the mesh with torque tongue in honeycomb foam structure that matches the vault colors of the laces and at the top of the tongue is the vault colored neoprene that is bright crimson red colored with the Kobe logo. Similar to the Kobe 5's Pro Turtle that we reviewed last time, the Kobe 6's also have fused flywire. We got the eyelets that are linked to the flywire on the uppers that goes down to the strobo board that acts as an internal midfoot cage. When the laces are tightened, these wires pull the entire upper of the shoe that hugs your foot for the much snugger and secure fit. The sock liner collar is well padded for ankle protection. Inside are molded foam insoles printed with the Kobe's initial KB and his number 24 in bright red and a green text running in both insoles that says I want a shoe that molds to my foot. Based on research and from people who rock their Kobe 6s, the insoles do mold to the feet the more you wear them. The external heel counter is in green transparent plastic for support and stability which is accented with Kobe's signature in bright crimson red. Underneath the heel counter is an iridescent green patent leather. The upper sits in a full-length colored cushion foam midsole for a more lightweight cushioning and comfort. It is compared to the OG, released in 2010, which uses a different material. The Pro Pro 6 Grinch features a large zoom unit on the forefront compared to the OG but have replaced the zoom unit on the heel with cushion foam which is much lighter, softer, and more responsive than Phyla. On the bottom of the sneaker, the outsole pattern has been modified from the OG with scaled down traction pattern, which meant they've added more surface area for added traction and grip that should improve court feel. The outsole is made of a semi-translucent neon green rubber on the forefoot to the midfoot of the sneaker, a carbon fiber shank plate on the midfoot for added torsional rigidity and an opaque green rubber with a bright red Kobe logo on the heel. Subtle detail at the tip of the toe is the debossed word Venomenon. It is a play on the words Venom and Phenomenon, Kobe being the black mamba with the Venom being the deadliest predator on the court and also being a phenomenon in playing basketball. So for the Kobe fans watching, I know this one's an automatic cup but with this being a limited release and all, were you able to cup a pair at retail? Or did you have to pony up for resale price? Let me know in the comments below and let's discuss on what you think about the Kobe 6 Proto Grinch. Alright, last weekend I got my second shot of COVID-19 vaccine which means I'm fully inoculated. Shout out to my friend Gary Riala, the admin of Cuneta Ashram for the assist. I appreciate you, bro.
Alright, so we're here at uh, Kodala Sudrome and uh, we're here for the second shot of our vaccine. And, uh, um, yeah, there's quite a lot of number of people here. I think there's about 2,500 allocations per day for the second shot as well. So we're just waiting for our turn. See how it pans out. Have you guys had your vaccine shots yet? Do check with your LGUs on how you can get vaccinated against the COVID-19. Let's do our part and get inoculated to help bring things back to normal and end this pandemic. Stay safe out there, fam. And that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed another unboxing video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe down on bottom if you still haven't, and smash that notification bell. I'll see you next time.